have somebody here by the name of Chedva <laughs> in the audience. Let's see. The woman's name. I mean, that even though this process is a process in the mind, but it's a, it, the breathing is a feminine exercise. It's all feminine. It's all Chedva. Just to explain what this word means as a level of joy, because there are many different words and synonyms for joy. The simple thing that we're trying to do now is if we breathe by using this word as our basic frame of reference, and the basic, uh, our pulse and, and beat, so that means that the breath itself will arouse and influence in our souls, the experience of joy. This is the simplest thing. But to breathe joy is to experience joy. But let's try to understand what, what level of happiness. There are many different words, or even ten. Here there are four. Of all of the ten different synonyms in the, in the Hebrew language that, that mean happiness, as the Medrash says, there are, are basically in Kabbalah four stages of the manifestation of joy and happiness, all of these stages are four levels of mother. And it's all a fa- the whole concept of happiness at all of its levels is a mother concept. The hay of the yud But the mother herself, as every pa- complete partsuf stature, possess- possesses all of the levels of wisdom and understanding and emotion and and revelation, Malchut. So the four levels of mother, which is the wisdom of mother, meaning the father within mother, and the mother of mother, and the children impregnant within mother, the, the son within mother, and the daughter within mother, these are the four levels of Chedva, Gila, Simcha, which literally mean that first there is a point a sharp, yeah, what the expression for sharp edges, uh, right? A cutting, a cutting edge. Chedva right? comes from the word chad, which means sharp or cutting edge of joy. The first initial point experience of joy is a cutting edge experience of joy. That's the type of joy that gives you goose pimples. That's why this word is the word that is said about Yitro that came to the Jewish people before the giving of the Torah and it says by Yichad Yitro he became over joyful tremendously full of joy when he heard of all the great miracles to, to our Jewish people and Chazal say that that word by Yichad that, that state of joy means that his whole body became full of goose pimples Chidudin Chidudin that's called sharp the sharp cutting experience of joy. That is the point of joy. That's why chad is like the word achad, which is one, one point. The point of happiness, which is the chokhmah, the wisdom of happiness. The initial cutting edge of happiness. Then comes level number two, which is gila, which is a word that, uh, that always refers to joy as experienced as filling the heart and is becoming manifest and revealed in the heart. The word gila also means gilui, which is revelation. But it refers to the revelation of the joy in the heart itself before the joy spreads to manifest itself in the limbs of the body. Meaning that it's still a personal sensation. It's not yet seen as an external expression by the observer. That is gila, when the joy fills the heart. Afterwards comes simcha. Simcha is when it bursts. The joy in all of its grace bursts from the heart to express itself in the limbs of the body, in the clapping of the hands, and the dancing of the feet, (coughs) and the singing of the mouth. That's simcha. The hitpashtut, in the eivarim, in the limbs of the body. Then there is one point when this joy comes to a high, 
to a peak point, to a culmination. That peak culmination point of the joy is called sasun. So these and this in general is a very important meditation process in itself to understand the process of joy in the soul, happiness in the soul, as an experience. It's all once more, it's all four levels that in general belong to mother. Meaning the wisdom of mother and the understanding of mother. The wisdom is the cutting first experience of the joy, the point of the joy, and then the filling of the heart. The heart is the mother, <coughs> the binasha bimina. And then the expansion spreading into the limbs. That's the midot, the vav of iman. Finally, the, the epitome point, which is actually a sod iman. <coughs> 